Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys, and this guy knows how to buy. I am telling you what, he buys a lot in bulk, as you'll see throughout this video, but amazing finds, making tons of money, great bolos, items you definitely want to be on the lookout for as a reseller. All right, we are going to get started. I'm first off going to show you his, um, let me get it on screen share here. This is his YouTube channel. It's Mr. Buys a Lot. And right here it is. And I'm guessing by the time I show this, he is going to be over a thousand subscribers because this probably will not post for a while. But he's got lots of reseller videos and he has a great thing going on. And you can learn a lot from this man. So definitely, definitely go and check out his channel. Give him a sub and. Let's get started with some of his bolos. He has good ones, guys. Good stuff. All right, here we go. The first one is this 1978 Mega Marvel Hulk. And it is in the box, but the box is pretty beat up. But he got this for $25 and he sold it for $200. There it is, the Hulk. And it looks like he's got some... Uh, Maybe it got wet and there's some bleeding. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it is. But uh, yeah, $200, you guys. And pretty cool. He did offer free shipping. The next item is this vintage 1976. It's a Dudley Do. Or Dudley Do Right. Dudley? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. I'm not real familiar with this cartoon. So anyhow, again, the box has some condition issues, but the figure looks to be in good condition. He got this for $15 and he sold it for 50. The next item is this orange blossom teapot. And he shared this one in my um, live show, the Bolo Buddies live show. I have every Wednesday night at 10 PM Eastern standard time. So you guys may have saw this one, but it's really, really cool. Um, it's a juicer and it's shaped like an orange and it's made in Germany. Really nice piece. So he got this. Uh, it doesn't say where he got it. He paid $20 for it and it sold for $250.50. It had 18 bids. So he did auction this one. The next item are these uh, rock and roll concert posters. It's from 2000. It's Ween. Never heard of Ween. Um, Brian Ewing. So I don't know if it's like multiple bands, but he has more than 10 available. So what he did is he bought out, um, let me see, bought as part of a 50,000 piece rock poster purchase. Wow. 50,000 pieces. And then he just, he bought all of it. And he sold this one poster. It looks like he sold two of them for $175 each. So I have no idea what he paid for all the posters, but I'm guessing he's doing pretty well. All right, so these ALF pencils, which are super cute, um, little ALF. He got these, he paid 10 bucks, and he sold them for $50. And that may have been something that if he wanted to, he could have like, sold them like in sets of two or something like that and maybe made more money. But a lot of times I do the same thing. I just lot them up and let other people buy them to resell for more. The next item is this Hummel Bar Bavarian Vintage Christmas Ornament House. This is what they look like. It's incomplete. It says 22 pieces. And he paid $25 for this at an estate sale and it sold for $125 with free shipping. Matchbox Diecast Peterbilt Tractor Trailer Truck. It's an advertising. It's one in one uh 58th scale. So I don't know how big that is. I don't think it's like really big. I think it's pretty small actually. But it's bigger than the small ones, you know. There's like a uh Something you can look up. I My friend sent it to me and it shows the different um, scales. All right. So he got this for $10 and he sold it for $40. And the buyer, or I'm sorry, the seller, he paid the shipping. 
Better Pack 333 Gummed Tape Industrial Dispenser Packing Shipping Tape Dispenser. That looks cool. He got this for... Okay, so he got it from a storage locker. The storage locker he paid $200 for, and he sold this for $145 with free shipping. It's nice when like one item almost pays for your entire locker. That's awesome. So this is a novelty transistor, ah, transistor radio, and it's in the shape of a butterfly. And he picked this up for 10 bucks and he sold it for 30 buyer paid shipping on that one. And this is a Weezer poster. So again, a part of his huge bulk poster buy. He sold the two of these for 150 each. That is awesome. That's amazing. And he still has more than 10 available. So if anybody's looking for a poster, this Jessica Simpson hair body mist, um, juicy. I don't know if this is discontinued or what, but he has seven available. He sold two and he bought a, a makeup and perfume purchase. It was a large deal. So again, he buys these things in bulk and gets a bunch of stuff. And, you know, when you buy in bulk, you get better prices. He sold this for $45 with free shipping. Okay, this Irving Rice and Company. Again, this came from the perfume and makeup. I think it said, yeah, perfume and makeup lot that he bought. And he has a whole bunch of these Irving and Rice. And I'm shocked at how many he has sold and the prices they have sold for. I'm trying to see if there's any type of marking on it, but I'm not seeing anything. So I don't know how you know if it's Irving and Rice. But he sold one of these and it sold for $149.99 and he still has seven available. This vintage photo, it's a stagecoach mining town. And he said that this is a photo reproduction. Uh, from the Ray Holland collection. He bought it for roughly a dollar and sold it for $35 plus shipping. This vintage 1970 Hannah Barbara, Barbara Huckleberry Hound figure. And he paid 10 for this and sold it for 125. Here is what it says on the back. Very cool. Amazing what some things go for. The next item, Bath and Body. This again came from that large um, makeup and perfume purchase. So he had roughly $3 in this and he sold it for $32 in free shipping. I don't know if this is a discontinued scent, but a lot of times the discontinued scents will sell for good money. This Eva Gordon ceramic um, orange fruit dimensional art pottery wall tile. It's like a little plaque. He got this. He paid $10 for it and it sold for $67.64. So he's willing to pay up for things if he knows that he can make decent money on them. I would have saw this and been like $10, but I probably would have looked up comps. And if I would have saw that they were selling for $50, $60, $70, $70, I probably would have paid $10. The next item is this vintage casino chip. It says Illegal Club Dallas, Texas. He bought a casino collection. He purchased it for roughly two $2,000. So I guess he's guessing he had about a buck invested in this and it sold for $21.39 with two bids and the buyer paid shipping. All right. This men's cologne gift set. This came from the makeup and perfume collection. So he had about $3 in it and he sold it for 75 with free shipping. The next item is this Toba Beverly Hills perfume and it's a splash and this was also a part of the perfume and makeup buyout. So roughly $3 and he invest, he invested in this, sold it for $200 with free shipping. All right. This antique mechanical cast iron bank. Now there are, what do you call that? Replicas or reproductions of these. Not this particular one. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there's not. But if you see these, you really got to be careful because some of them are reproductions. His friend bought this for $1,100 and he sold it for his friend for 
So definitely be on the lookout for them, but be careful. Let me see. Um, I don't know how to know if they're real or not real. I mean, this one's obviously real because it went for a lot of money, but I definitely do your research, guys. The next item are these vintage retro pin back pin lot of 100 items from the 80s and the 90s. He sold one lot. This one sold for $75 and he still has four left. So, um, yeah, I mean, if he would have put these in smaller lots, maybe he could have sold it for more. I don't know. $75 for a hundred. That seems, I mean, I'd be happy with that. He got this. Uh, he bought a 200,000 piece buyout from somebody in California. He sold a hundred pens for $75 and he still has four lots available. So that is fantastic. All right. This Wrangler neon sign he got at an estate sale. And he paid $125 for it, and he sold it for $400 plus shipping. All right, this one's kind of cool. It's a 1938 press photo of Dr. Hu Xin, Chinese ambassador to the United States, China. And it came from a collection he bought of early political and famous people photos. He paid $2 each photo and sold this one for $210.50 plus shipping. How cool is that? The next item is this vintage G.I. Joe, and it says Adventure Team Fuzzy Hair. And I'm like, why is it fuzzy hair? And if you look, he really has fuzzy hair. And he said that this one is special because it has this hole in the shorter, shoulder. So just to, a little tip. Um, he bought it for $10 and sold it for $66.76 plus shipping. Action Comics. This is a 1941 comic book and he paid 200 for this and he sold it for $425 with um, the buyer paying shipping. I wanted to go in here because he said he had no reserve. He started this at $19.99. So that was definitely gutsy buying something for 200 and taking a chance at $19.99 with no reserve. Oh my goodness. I would be way too nervous. Okay, so see other items. I'm going to take you guys into his store and give you a little tour. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you would like to be featured on my channel like this, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. You just have to have some bolos. Feel free to message me on Facebook in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So you guys can see here, he's got a lot of the makeup items um, and the, the creams, uh, what do you call it? What did he call it? Makeup and perfume bundle. And then all the posters. I mean, look how many posters he has. So he has a lot of really, really neat items in his store. So if you would like to check out his store, I have a link below in the description of the video that will take you directly into his store. So, sure to the channel. And again, he is definitely a bolo finder. And it looks like he really knows how to source huge lots of items where he buys in bulk to get the price down. So, very, very cool. Again, here is his YouTube channel. Definitely go check that out. And as always, thank you all for watching and for being here and taking the time to watch my video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And the thumbs up button is right over here if you can hit that before you go. If you made it to the end of the video, that just comment, I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and have an awesome night. See you soon.